Faux Mousse. Okay, now when we developed this, it was literally to use with your stencil so you could use it as a 3D embellishment paste. But since then, we found so many different ways of using this. So if I open this up, you can see the consistency of that. It is very, very creamy. So for all you ladies, it's a cream blush. Don't put it on your faces. But for you gentlemen, it is like um, spreadable butter, for example. It is really, really creamy and high in pigment. So if we're wanting to use it as a, a, a gilding wax, Take the excess off and we can go over and highlight any relief on our cardstocks. But this could be on our MDF projects, we could use it as a gilding wax, lots of different ways of using it like that. But we can also use it as a paint. Now at that stage it's quite thick so if you were to paint with that it'd be more like an oil paint okay because it's quite gloopy. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of water. And you can mix that in. So make sure you don't have a porous mat. If you've got a glass mat, absolutely brilliant. Because this is a water-based product as well. If you've mixed too much, you can actually let it dry on there and reactivate it with water, okay? Because it's water-based and it's no problem at all. So when you've got it like that, you can actually paint with it, okay? as much as you want. So this is textured cardstock, this is a linen weave. And you can see there that you get the most perfect colour. Now you won't be able to see this, but when you get this home, it has got the highest sheen on there because it's all pearlescent, okay? So that's another way of using it. You can also use your spritzer bottles as well. Now all I've done is make that, what I did before with the water, in a cup and poured it into my spritzer bottle. I'm giving it a shake to reactivate all that mica in there and mix it all up. And you can see now that you've got it as a spritzer. So you can dry that off and you're losing none of the pigment in there at all. And it does look beautiful when you do it over the top of your embossing folders. So that is just a couple of ways of using this beautiful Nouveau mousse. And I have to say, the pots are huge and it goes a long, long way. That's all for this time, but thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tutorials for all things tonic. Or click a playlist for videos just like this one. Check the description below for the links to our other social media. But until next time, have a wonderful crafty day.